Once your application catches an exception, you need to throw it, but you never rethrow that exception. Wait, what? Hey, chatters. My name is Brendan, and in today's episode of Dev Chatter, we're going to be talking about why you should never rethrow the same exception after you've caught it. Let's take a look. I started by saying something a little bit confusing, and that was that you shouldn't rethrow the same exception. Now, let me clarify this code rethrows the same exception. Why? Let's have a look right here. You'll notice that we catch ex and then immediately rethrow ex. Now, obviously, this is silly because we didn't do anything, but let's assume that we did something to handle it. We set a value. Maybe we logged something. Maybe, you know, uh, we checked to see which kind of error it was and logged something or reported back a certain type of message to the user. Maybe we adjusted the message so that it is friendlier to the user, but still logged the real details. Who knows? Either way, when we rethrow this exception, we end up with a slightly bad situation. And that is that we have changed history. Now, let's see what I mean. If we run this, you'll notice one interesting thing that happens when it completes, and that is, it says unhandled exception not implemented, and that's fine, that's the exception we threw. However, the stack trace, let's take a look closer at that. It says that we threw our exception on line 13. Well, let's have a look at line 13 then. Line 13's right here. That's not where we threw the exception. It should have said line 19. So what happened? Well, we threw an exception right here. What we need to do is stop doing this. This is what you can't do. Get rid of the EX, get rid of the EX, and now let's run it again. And now we've got something a little bit more interesting. Notice line 13 doesn't even appear here now because we haven't altered history this time. This time we've got line 19 and line 9. Let's take a look at what line 19 and line 9 are in our stack trace. Line 9 is where we call our method. Line 19 is where the exception gets thrown. That's useful history. We were missing both line 9 and line 19 from our stack trace because we threw the exception again. Don't do that. When you call throw, it continues the existing thrown exception instead of throwing a new one. So this is when that stack trace gets applied. Write it this way to get the details that you want. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel to join the Dev Chatter community. You can check out our Discord down below as well and try to catch our live streams. Links to everything you're interested in, you'll find down below. Thanks, and happy coding, everyone.